Ahem. I guess it's time for you to get roasted, good sir. Well, take a seat, because I'm about to light you up like the Hindenburg. You little lick spittle of a human being. Been playing like a fiddle since you were a teen. A load of bull feces has more potential than you low-life pilgrim. At least the feces can act as fertilizer to make more life that might be impressive. You can't fertilize at all because you have the face of Quentin Matzies. Oh yes, you will never ravish a woman if your genitalia was a cure to her smallpox. Let me take a small, let me take a small pause for an applause. Ah, that's quite refreshing wine. Need to cool my palate from the heat. A mumsimus such as yourself doesn't know when he's been beat. The only girl you ever got attention from was a harlot, and she even said, Let's just be friends. You're such pathetic scum that the common beggar pities you. I swear, you are so repugnant that not even Kevin Spacey would touch you if he were your uncle. The very sight of you would make Mr. Cosby scream rape. That's right, I said it. For even a rapist would tell you that he has standards. Oh ho! I'm surprised an invertebrate such as yourself can even sit up straight. You sink in your chair like the goop of fleshy waste that you are. A fellow such as yourself is quite the disposable man. You insignificant waste of space. Do you think your parents are proud of who you are or what you've done in your lifetime? But don't worry, they don't, couldn't make a motion picture of you. The saddest man alive. It would be inspirational as others would mutter, at least I'm not that guy, during the film. They would get the kick in the lower posterior to fix themselves. So I guess you're an inspiration. <sighs> Hang on, I'm receiving a message from your mother. Oh yes, I am going to ravish you tonight. Yeah, what are you going to do with those ankles, you harlot? Don't worry, I'll come over with a candlestick for that, sweetheart. Ahem. Oh, you are still there. She will surely be pleased tonight, I assure you. Oh yes, hang on. I'll sext you later, babe. Just bring the horse. Sorry, but I must talk to your chicken-hearted offspring. You have the complexion of an individual that fell down an ugly tree and had a facial wound so bad that it needed to be cauterized. Of course, I would feel bad for the tree, mind you. No need to abuse Mother Nature. I wouldn't touch you with a ten-foot pole, but that pole would be ten millimeters for you. I really don't know how someone would look like they touch kids and looks like they've been touched, but you pull it off. I find your breasts aren't that of a man, but rather a pregnant woman. Your man nipples could supply milk for decades to the country of Ethiopia, but I wouldn't drink it, as why buy the milk when you could get the thirsty man for free? Ho! You're such a disgusting individual, you could show up to a freak circus and get free tickets right next to the dog-faced boy. But I'm sure you knew that due to the fact that you stay inside all the time, never accomplishing your goals, never hitting on the girl of your dreams, never putting yourself out there as that would hurt your reputation as a loser. You wallow away in self-pity because that's a vicious cycle that is the substance to your needy personality. Probably due to your father running out on you when you were little. Your mother became a woman of the streets, but a good one at that to pay the bills. What did you do? Wallow away in booze and self-pity, you became the very thing you once feared. I hope you have extra space in your mother's basement, you will be fat sack of feces. Aw, oh, that's good stuff. A good Merlot. Oh, are you still here? You could stand the roast? Well then, guess I should keep going. But hey, I've lasted longer in bed than you. I know, because your mother tells me how you make grunting noises for 10 seconds then proceed to imitate a seal being clubbed to death. Of course, a seal has less blubber than an individual such as yourself. Ha <laughs> ha! 
You're so white that you are referred to as a flashbang on the beach. Don't let this get to you as light travels faster than sound. This is why some people appear to be bright until you hear them speak, such as yourself. I bet you have your back hunched over staring at a computer screen trying to comprehend the very essence of what I'm saying. If you, if hear, you hear an echo, echo effect, effect for the for pulse, the pulse of, this of this motion picture, picture you should know, you should that, know you that you are known, known as, as an airhead. airhead. Oh look, it's your father who abandoned you since birth. What's that? Oh yes, I am talking to your disappointment of a son. Say hi. Yes, he is an idiot, isn't he? He could even look like a she. You are a he, right? Oh, who knows with that haircut. Yes, we should tag team his mother sometime. Does Saturday work well for you? Yes, she's bringing the horse as stated before. Well, it's not the size of the horse, you insecure twat. It's the motion of the ride. Oh, I'm sorry, that was your insecure father. I see where you got your genitalia size from. Ha ha ha! Oh yes, that is a very good Merlot. I'm surprised you're still here, and not looking up porn on the internet from girls out of your league. If you made enough money, you could have some foolish woman. Of course, that would imply that you would ever be successful. Yeah, right. You a pilgrim who spent his time surfing through one video to the next to feel a connection with people who actually have lives. How do you think you're going to connect with them? Through osmosis? You will never capture their attention as that requires something called character. I know it's a foreign concept to a person like you, but learn it well. Time to pick up the pace. You are the reason the gene pool needs a lifeguard. You are the reason they invented the condom. I've talked to your mother and she said that when you were born, the doctor threw you out the window and the window threw you back. If a thought ever crossed your mind, it would be an insignificant, long and lonely journey. Your inferiority complex, mind you, is fully justified in your uneventful life. It is impossible for anyone to underestimate you. You lackluster, despicable human being. You are the reason why an alien species would never make contact with the human race. Your very existence is a mark of moronic insolence. Here we go. Time for you to get dropped off at school. Let me be the first to set the bar, because you're the least bit capable. You're not even a person, you're an animal in the slaughterhouse, so stay in your stable. You try to talk smack, but lucky for you, the mirror doesn't talk back. They say a picture is worth a thousand words, but for you, one of them would do. You're fugly, so fugly that the hands want to leave you for spanking the monkey. An invertebrate with no chance of going on a blind date, even if she was blind. And we all know you can't get laid because I wipe my butt with the dollars you get paid. Tally ho, I can drop a beat so kiss my feet as I go balls deep in this ride. You're the type that needs to be the center of attention, but you can't even mention what you've got to offer. You should drink bleach, you stot stot stottering, worse than Colin Firth in the King's Speech. For you to be a functioning human being is an overreach. You scurry and screech at your parents for more money like a leech. Look at you, you beast baller. I know you didn't get that from your mother. You rolled up in a ball, you're curled, I wrapped from the underworld. You drool like a cover world. Stay in your bubble, but I won't pop it. I'm already popping cherries with my eyeglass and locket. You've got the body of a blundering, blobbering minge. Your hitting on women would be embarrassing. Feel the cringe when a woman stops to make a singe while your skin changes a new tinge. Feel my wrath of attack that'll send shivers up your back. You're as hated as a Jewish sissy who works for a tipsy Walt Disney. You walk around like you've had a vasectomy. You fatty, try and mastectomy. Feel the dependency of your low integrity. Someone should put you out of your misery with a death penalty. But I wouldn't absolutely go away to the collective fraternity to this cremation melody. Bet your mother wanted a hysterectomy, but instead got a son with a lobectomy. Step up your game and hate me if you want, but I'm here to stay. Dear viewer, you have been roasted by a fancy man. Good day. Oh, are you still here? Well, while you're here, why don't you smash that like button and subscribe to this incredible channel for more content such as this. Thank you and have a great day.